Today, I am going to grace you with the most wonderful knowledge. So as you can see here, I've added raspberries, blueberries, flaxseed, some turmeric powder, some of that vanilla vegan protein. I've also added some pumpkin seeds and some cacao nibs for that chocolatey taste. And as you can see here, there is some lemon and some ginger. And these are the two ingredients that will be in the spotlight in this video. Now, as you can see, the ginger is just a small piece. You're going to want to cut about an inch thick of ginger and cut off the surrounding edges. Also added some strawberries just to finish up the smoothie. Okay, so one thing you're gonna want to remember is if you're on any medications that are for thinning your blood, or if any of the medications that you take uh, have a side effect of uh, blood thinning, then don't take any ginger because uh, one of the things about ginger is it helps to improve circulation and I imagine that that would cause more blood thinning so that would probably be dangerous to your health if you're already on blood thinning medications. So I'll be saving these two shake containers for later and obviously drink this one now. So a few of the things that really stood out to me about ginger uh, were the facts that it's anti-inflammatory, so anytime I have any injuries, it'll it'll just it won't disappear right away, obviously, but it'll go down a lot faster than it usually does. Like one of the things is that it helps with pain as well, and that's one of the reasons that I take turmeric in my shakes because it helps with pain and it's really good for like menstrual cramps if, if you're a uh, female you know you have you know your menstrual cycle can be very painful sometimes and uh, it's apparently also really good for the brain and really good for circulation and that's one of the things that I really need for myself um, because with epilepsy, you know, sometimes the circulation isn't that great and that could cause a seizure. Like for me especially because I have really low blood pressure. So that's one of the things that I think about is that maybe uh, my circulation isn't great and that's possibly one of the reasons that I have seizures, that I don't have enough oxygen going to my brain, I don't have enough uh, circulation of blood in my brain for it to function properly. So those are the reasons specifically for me that I want to be taking ginger into my shakes. But there are a whole bunch of other awesome benefits that ginger has, like, like I said with muscle pain and soreness, you know, there is, um, because it's anti-inflammatory, it can help with osteoarthritis, and it's really good for your heart. It can help uh, different forms of nausea. That's why people typically say, oh, drink some ginger ale to help if you feel sick. Um, but it's better to have like the natural form because ginger ale is it's carbonated, you know? It can also help with uh, morning sickness for pregnant women. It has so many medicinal properties. Like, it's, it's so amazing. The ginger can also uh, lower blood sugars and uh, improve uh, like risk factors for heart disease. So you have lower risks of uh, diabetes, you have lower risks of heart disease, and you know, your heart health is so much better and it can help with your cholesterol levels, uh, it helps with indigestion, uh, especially people who have like chronic indigestion, like it's, 
it's like one of the most awesome things for for them from what I've been told at least uh, there are uh, certain properties in the ginger that uh, there have been studies that it could help to prevent cancer I believe it's uh, gingeral uh, six gingerol. Uh, it, it's a it's a substance that is found in large amounts of raw ginger. So people who take ginger extract or they have ginger tea uh, made from ginger root. So from what I am reading here, it, it is saying that ginger may be effective against pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, and ovarian cancer. So like I said, it improves brain function, uh, it improves the circulation, and therefore improves brain function and it can help against Alzheimer's and other brain related uh, diseases and conditions and I believe that's because of the antioxidants it's also really good to help fight infections so for when you're sick you have a cup of ginger tea and you're gonna get better a lot faster than if you were to have some store-bought tea that you bought from the store. For me personally, I feel like this is the step in the right direction to help with my seizures because with the lack of circulation in my body, I tend to get cold very easily um, because I have a low, really low blood pressure and slow circulation. I feel like having ginger will definitely help me. And I mean, ginger can also help with uh, weight loss because it also, um, I guess, because it improves circulation, that it also. Uh, increases the metabolism so you burn fat more often or faster I guess and um, so that's a plus but the main plus here is hopefully uh, finding a way to decrease my seizures or you know maybe even remove my seizures completely because that would be totally awesome <laughs> but for now I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens now if you like that please come back for more like subscribe and be sure to tell your friends I swear it's not sure and be sure to check out my other channels my comedy channel my vlog channel and my gaming channel my comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. Love you guys so, so much!